Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the worst makeup. We're talking about disappointing products, products that I'm like, I'm just trying to get out of my collection. Like they're leaving, they're leaving my collection after this video. Goodbye, good riddance. See you never again, hopefully. I'm just like kind of in the mood to trash some products. I love it, just kidding. <laughs> and yeah, I am wearing the Velour sweatshirt from my clothing haul. I, I seriously, I got in the shower. I was wearing this before the shower, got in the shower, got out of the shower, put it right back on. Like, that's all I wear now. It's like three videos in a row that I've been wearing this. Okay, let's kick it off. Okay, so this is a product that I don't know why I haven't talked about it yet. It's so, I mean, they're all gonna be so bad. By the way, there's no disclaimers on this channel. Like, I'm not doing them, okay? If you don't like these products, wait, I'm, I was just about to go into a disclaimer. I'm not doing a disclaimer, so you guys know the drill with that. Okay, so first in the hot seat is the Kopari Coconut Oil Coconut Body Glow. It is right here. You've probably seen it. It's very tempting. Like, you're like, ooh, I like that. Um, because you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna make me look really glowy. It's gonna make me look like I'm on a red carpet. I'm a movie star. I'm J-Lo. Like, no. First of all, it doesn't make you look like that. I gotta show you because this is like very concerning. I gotta, hold on, let me zoom you in. It seems to be frozen or like it's gooped up. It's something happened to this. Something's wrong. Something went sour in here. I don't know what the shelf life is of this, but it's, it looks like it's expired. Like the problem with this is the worst problem, the most glaring problem that makes it totally unusable is the smell. Oh, hold on. I could barf. I honestly could barf. It, it, and it doesn't go away. I put this on my body. The first time I got this, I was like, oh hell yes. And I'm putting like so much on. I'm rubbing it all over my hands and I could not get rid of the smell. I could not stop smelling it. It is so fragrant, so perfumey, such an old person scent. Like not the nice old woman that you love, like your grandma. It's like, like a hoarder's house, like a hoard, that's what it is. It's like a hoarder's house. Like if you walked into a hoarder, like a grandma who's a hoarder, who has so much just like, I don't even know. I, I really, I, anyway, it, it's just, it just, like the smell, I cannot get past the smell. I don't know. I thought it would smell like fucking coconut. Like it's got coconut two times, coconut oil, coconut body glow. Why doesn't it smell like coconut? Anyway, uh, yeah, this is just, it, and plus it doesn't really, it's a, it's just a huge glitters, like huge, huge glitter. It's not at all what you think that it is or what you want it to be. So I would skip on that 120%. Here's another product that I'm like, why did, like, it seems so easy, but you just, you don't, like, why did you do that? Um, it's the Flower Beauty BB Cream. So I don't really know exactly why I picked this up, to be honest with you, but you know, I thought it was gonna be a BB cream where I could just use it in the summer type of thing. And usually BB creams are just, they're like light coverage. They're, they make your skin look healthy. This, this is so cakey and just thick and it's so full coverage that you're like, you don't even know what to do with it. And I have not, since I used this, I have not touched it again. Like I knew immediately that I was just not gonna use again. It's just, it's a BB cream. Like why do you gotta make it something that it's not? Why, like, why did you do that, you know? I just, I don't get it, dude. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Plus, these come in like five shades and that's inclusive to all. It's just, I just want things to be what I expect them to be and what they're marketed as. So if like I see BB cream, I'm not thinking full coverage or Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Are you kidding me? Like, no, goodbye. Next foundation is this. Dude, I don't even know where I got this. I think I got this in like a Ulta, like they gave it to me for free type of thing because I definitely didn't buy this, but it's the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. So first of all, uh, are you coming from my brand? Chubby in the Nude, really? Like taking shots like that? It's personal at this point. <laughs> but anyway, it's so bizarre. It's super dry. Like I don't know why anybody would use this. I honestly don't. It's just, no. Like, it, it's very hard to blend out. To me, it was really dry. At least mine was. Like, I mean, I of course, I haven't opened it in a long time, but like, chubby in the nude. Like, even the name, I just can't get past the name. And I'm like, if somebody asks you what foundation you're wearing, you're like, oh yeah, I'm wearing chubby in the nude. Like, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I'll lie before I say that. Anyway, 
no, just, it's not, I know I'm not giving you like a ton of information about why it's bad, but just trust me on that one. It's just, it's dry. You don't, you don't want that. You don't want that. Next, I don't know where I got this, but I did try this out twice. And it is called the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. And it's from IGK. And let me just read the back to you because I think this is hilarious. First of all, coconut oil gel. So I'm like, oh my God, the ultimate level of hydration for your hair, right? Let me read the back. This coconut oil infused gel is the foundation in creating the hydrated, lived in undertone hair of right now. And then it says apply to towel dried hair and let air dry for optimal separation and hydration. So I followed the steps on the back. I towel dried my hair. It was slightly damp. And I was like, oh, I'm going to let it air dry and it's going to look really cute. It's going to look beachy wavy. No, <laughs> my hair. And by the way, hydra keywords in here. Coconut oil gel, hydration, hydrated, twice, uh, oil infusion. My hair looked like a crispy french fried onion when I had this. I was like, my hair was crunching. I'm like, oh my god, this is terrible. This betrayed me. This really, really betrayed me and it made me look so... My hair looked like a ramen noodle before you cook it. Ew. And it felt like one too. I was seriously, I was touching my hair and I'm like, really? Like, wow, they really did that. Okay. So yeah, that's, again, that's the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel from IGK. I have a feeling, this is like a travel size, like who cares? But I have a feeling that it's very expensive. So, um, or maybe it's not, I don't even know, but I would not buy that. Next, this is a <laughs> bronzing powder from MAC. So I got this a very long time ago, by the way. This is actually, I can explain myself. This came, I bought this back when I didn't know a lot about makeup and so I went up to a MAC counter because you're like, oh my God, those girls know everything about makeup. They're the best. And I walked up there and she's like, you know, they're very, sometimes, the girl was very pushy and she's like, here, you want this bronzer? And she literally, without me saying yes or no, she puts it on my face and I'm like, oh. So she put it on me and it actually looked pretty good. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, you know, I'm going to believe whatever you say because you just, you know, tell me whatever. And plus, I think she called me pretty or something. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it. But, um, cause that's all you have to say to me these days. Anyway, um, so yeah, I bought this and I'm like, first of all, you guys know, well, maybe you don't know, I hate shimmery bronzers. Like, you know, sometimes I can deal with it in the summertime sometimes, and it has to be the right one. But um, this one, first of all, you can't really see it. You're like, oh, what are you talking about? Let me zoom time. Hopefully you can see, I have my like phone light on it, but there is glitter in there. There is straight up, you can see it shimmering. There's glitter. There's literally like huge, 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 like glitter. Like I, I have glitters that literally come in like a glitter thing like this that are the same size as this. Like same cut as the glitter that's in here. It's unreal. Like there's a difference between a shimmery bronzer and then a glitter bronzer. Why did I buy this? I seriously, I used it maybe one time and I was like, even I knew back then when I knew nothing about makeup, I was like, girl, no. I don't know why I didn't return it. I think I got, I think I was scared back then to return things. Now though, I will return anything. <laughs> um, anyway, let's move on. Dude, this, okay. This one actually kind of kills me because it's a blast from the a mega pass. Some of you guys are going to be like, it's going to be like, ooh, why is she talking about my, my childhood, whatever. Anyway, I'm talking about the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush uh, flavored glosses. These are, I used to wear these in middle school or maybe not middle school. No, I don't think I wore makeup in middle school. I used to wear these in like high school and no, probably middle school. And I thought I was so bougie cause I had like a ton of these and I feel like everybody used to have them. And like, that's where you bought makeup when you were in middle school is like Victoria's Secret, like whatever. And plus like Victoria, I, everybody wanted to be a Victoria's Secret angel back then. Not that they don't now, but more back then it was like everybody was like hyper aware that they wanted to be one so if you bought one you're like oh i'm a victoria's secret angel like these are sticky goopy just goopy goop they are so if you guys want to know what like a sticky gloss feels like grab one of these if you like sticky glosses grab one of these um they're not cruelty free by the way i got these like forever ago but they're so 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 thick 
it's uncomfortable to have them on your lips because they're so thick like that that they're like they get in the way of talking eating like they're a nuisance they're a nuisance to have on your lips i will say to play devil's advocate the smell of these is the best like they have them in different scents let me smell really quick they have yeah this is like a berry flavor my favorite i gotta find it i have it somewhere oh yeah sugar high oh, seriously have you ever seen in like when somebody gets knocked out they do like smelling salts or like when somebody's boxing this is all you need to wake me up i would be i could be like passed out and if you just wave one of these in front of my face i'm like like i'm back <laughs> i'm back bitches but Oh my god, they smell they smell great. They're nostalgic as they're really cute to put on your like display, but as a makeup item, no thank you. Next, please. Okay, next in the hot seat is this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So let me walk you through this one. This is a product that you're like you're going on vacation and you're like oh shit i need a dry shampoo i have to go to walgreens target whatever and you see this in the trial like size section the travel size section and you're like oh perfect i'll grab that it looks like you know pretty good just save yourself the dollar 20 cents or whatever this is it's so it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything it's just it's like grimy it doesn't take any oil away so like what's the point of it like you know it's just a nuisance it's, it takes up space in your bag it doesn't it doesn't do what a dry shampoo should do anyway this is like just don't get this get the batiste ones they come in trial sizes travel sizes whatever um and this is just not worth a single dollar i don't know a single person on this planet that likes this dry shampoo Anyway, so next is this e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. I Okay, I bought this because I am somebody who's super, super lazy when it comes to brush cleaning. And I also, I just hate washing my brushes. One time I had my boyfriend do it and it was like the, the greatest gift he ever gave to me. Let's just be real. Even though he gave me that vanity and I still feel like maybe cleaning my brushes was a little bit better. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, so yeah, e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. This is just like not necessary when you think about when you think about it. So you're supposed to spray this onto like paper towel or something like that and then you swirl your brush in it. It turned out that like I was just swirling my brush for like hours and it doesn't really like if you want a deep clean, don't use this, but if even if you just want to do like a spot clean, you can just use a towel like all the time I'll just take a towel and I'll just go like this quickly or you can get like a hair donut or something like it's not expensive and just to go like that in it and you don't have to spend your time like fucking spraying so much and then going like you know it's like <sighs> stupid anyway I wouldn't recommend this I'm sure there's people out there that like it but like to me it's just like okay it's like what is this soap water like I'll do it myself okay let's move on so next I have a foundation this is a little bit of a this is gonna be an unpopular opinion but I hate this foundation I hate I've decided like I, I kind of liked it in the beginning when it was fresh and new and I think that it's kind of expired on me but it's just every time I use it I can't get it to work I just can't and I, I did a review on this and I again I initially kind of I thought it was okay I didn't really give it a great review I think I gave it like a B minus or a C plus like and that's what I would still give it it's the wet and wild <laughs> wet and wild photo focus foundation first of all I open I cracked this thing open the other day it smells like I just opened a fresh paint can like I don't want that on my face it smells you guys should go and smell yours and make sure yours doesn't smell like this because I don't know what the problem is but like so strong like a paint can like huffing like people I somebody's probably gonna call the cops on me because I'm huffing and like I don't know like that's called that's actually like considered doing drugs I remember when I was in dare that was like a big problem back when I was in elementary school. It was like, they were like, dude, there's people out there. They're smelling paint cans. They're smelling aerosol. Like, I don't, I don't know what they were smelling spray paint and stuff like that. And like, they're getting high off of it. You can get high off of this. This is a danger. This is like an actual drug, like a danger because it smells that strong. I would consider this like a drug, to be honest with you. Like, 
I mean, I'm gonna smell it one more time, but no. And plus, you know what? This makes me, it just breaks a part of my face. I have used my high-end primers, my low-end primers, no primer. I have tried this every which way. I had my mom try it. It made her skin so dry. It was horrible. It was caking up around my nose. I don't, I don't really know what the hype is, but like, just so you guys know, if you like it, then just keep on going. It's a, that's great because it's a cheap foundation. For me, it doesn't work. Um, and then also, if you're one of those people, I just want to let you know that you're not alone. So if you don't like this, you're not alone. But if you do like it, then that's great. Okay, next is this Lash Adhesive Duo Lash Adhesive. You've probably seen this. You know what this is. You probably have like a million travel sizes if you're like me. I have a million. It's like, God, they won't get out of my collection. I just, there's, there's a better drugstore one out there that's so much better than this. This is like the applicator. Uh-uh. It, you like have to squeeze it out and it just like it flies out of there I like the kiss one so much better because it's like an applicator where you can paint it onto the lash not only that but that one makes your lashes stay on so much longer anytime I use this my lashes pop off I'm a huge lash wearer I wear lashes like every single day of my life think about that I wear like I mean I'm not wearing them now Jesus okay I wear them almost every single day of my life and I wear them to the gym like I don't give a fuck I will wear them anywhere at any time don't worry about it if you see me at the airport at like 4 a.m i'll be wearing them but anyway this is just it's not good just from a take it from me from a avid lash wear get the kiss one the kiss lash glue amazing this not amazing takes forever to dry the application is horrible no just no okay here we go i'm gonna talk about it so this is the yes i the tardis tart tart tarty 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 whatever tarty for the party um tartlet toasted palette so you probably saw my video on it and here's my follow-up i just want to talk about it again and i also want to talk about another one of their palettes so this is their tart tartiest pro palette so i believe that these two have a really similar formula and I said way back when, you can go watch my video, all the best and worst of Tarte. I said in that video, I hate this palette and I feel like it doesn't blend well. I feel like the color selection, at first I was like, oh hell yeah, like, cause the color selection looks good, but they don't blend together well and they look really muddy. So this palette, again, I just don't think that they blend well. I don't think that they, I don't really think the colors look very good together. <sighs> There's some good shade. There's some shades in here where I can I'm like, okay, I can work with them But like for example this shade right here. It's terrible. Like it's truly terrible This palette still looks so dirty by the way I wasn't able to return it because I lost my Receipt which I probably could find online anyway, but by the way I ordered this from the Tarte website so I could probably find it on there But Tarte had a huge if you're not aware a huge security breach on their website where I don't, they don't, they didn't even say anything about it. I had to find out like on somewhere else, but they had a huge security breach. Like, so all the people that have ever ordered from there, like over 2 million people, um, all their information was like compromised. So that's great. And I ordered it from there. So that's even better. Um, so anyway, like this fireside shade, oh my God, does not, it doesn't like when you put it down. It grabs in certain places and it blends away in others and it literally takes color away like it it doesn't look good it's not as dark as you think it is it doesn't like intensify looks deepen looks add that like really nice contrast that a look would need and I look at the palette more and more and I'm like you know what these shades are just they don't speak to me as much as my other warm tone palettes like and did I really need to buy this no my issue isn't even with the fallout in these palettes because the fallout is, you know, or like the kick up, that's what it is, the kick up. I mean, there's fallout, I think there is, at least there is in my palette, and then there also is in this palette, there's just a ton of kick up where I don't experience, to me, I don't experience that in my Tarlet and Bloom palette, so it, I was surprised with these two. I could immediately tell this was like a different formula, and I think that these companies are, hold on, I have like majorly sneeze. This is making me sneeze because it's like getting into my nose because it's like popping up. I think that these companies are trying to do like the most pigmented out of this world shadows and they swatch really well but I don't feel like they apply very well and I think this is just it didn't I was blending for at least I think I blended for an hour on my eyeshadow look that I did in that video so mm -mm. the issue is 
just in the blending. I don't care if there's kick up. Yeah, there's kick up in the Modern Renaissance palette. Yeah, I understand that and everybody loves that palette. I like that palette, but it, it blends out. Do you understand? This doesn't blend very well. This took me an hour to blend out an, a simple eye look. It should never happen that way. And you know what else should never happen? I should never get a palette like this, okay? And I heard someone say once that there's no such thing as a, ba a batch inconsistency. Yes, there is. I've gotten a bad Too Faced chocolate bar palette that I had to take back because it was literally like, it didn't smell like chocolate and it didn't perform the way that it did. So yeah, it, there are batch inconsistencies. I feel like maybe that's what happened with this one. To be honest with you, I feel like, I feel like they intentionally made the palette this way because this palette is a lot like it. I don't like this one. Seriously, the colors just, they blend together to make a muddy, patchy mess. And they're they are not very smooth. And they're, they skip all over the place. And got, by the way, people are like, oh, you used a MAC 224 brush. Like, it's a, it's a hard, dense, natural hair brush. You should use a soft brush. Do you think today's my first day I started doing makeup? Do you think that was the first day I started doing makeup in that video? Do you think I didn't try that? Like, really? Come on. Get your head out of your ass. Like, I obviously, like, I know how to do makeup. I know how to blend stuff out. I know. I know. I never use natural hair brushes. I was pretty much showing you that because I wanted to show you the kick up because a lot of people do. Use MAC 224s, whatever. I always use an IT Cosmetics crease brush, which is like the softest crease brush ever, by the way. Super good. But uh, I couldn't blend this stuff out. I can't blend either of these out. I don't think they're good. I think they're subpar. Um, I don't think, I still don't think this is anywhere close to being Tarte's best palette. If you love yours, a lot of people are like, oh, I love mine. It works great. That's fine, like, that's fine, but I don't think that it's worth it to take the risk. I'm on a rant right now. I don't think it's worth it to take a risk, especially if you live in a country, like, I think in Australia you can't do, like, returns. A lot of you guys comment, in my country I can't do returns. Um, if you can't return a $50 palette, then that's, that's something to take into consideration because I, this is a palette that I should have returned if I had my receipt, whatever. You have to factor in, why are these palettes all in different formulas? Why is Tarte Holiday Collection so much different than Tarte's like permanent line? You have to ask yourself those questions. It's They're very concerning to me that there's so many different inconsistencies all over the place. What are you gonna get with Tarte? You never know. So for that reason, I say I'm sticking to it. I don't agree with this palette. A lot of people commented the same thing happened to them. They ordered it and it was like, just completely covered in dust before they even touched it. So, I don't know if there's a huge batch problem. I don't, it seems like there's a there's an, a batch issue with all of their palettes to be honest, but I just don't like these palettes. I would not recommend them to you. A funny thing about this is that it, it came out. So I was like one of the first people to, to pick this up and it came out. And I was like, oh, cool, like, and then I tried it, I hated it, I talked about it in a video, like, right away, and then all of a sudden I see that this palette, a brand new palette, was on Hot Look, like, a few days, like, weeks later, two weeks later. Why would a brand new palette be on Hot Look? That's like, it's a site where they, like, sell stuff marked down. Usually it's stuff that's, like, either going on sale or, you know, getting discontinued. I would never have seen a palette like be marked down like that, you know, like so quickly. So I feel like a lot of other people did not like this palette. I, I certainly did not. I think that's very weird and sketchy and a little bit concerning. So, uh, yeah, nope. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I, you avoid, I don't, I honestly don't think any of you guys were going to buy this stuff anyway. Maybe the Tarlet and Toasted palette, but, um, if you were gonna buy it, I hope that you, you know, do a little bit of research, maybe take in consideration what I said. Um, and if you still like these products, then it's fine. We can still be friends. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna be doing a Black Friday video pretty soon about all the deals, all the things that you should buy instead of the stuff that you shouldn't buy. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you follow me on my other social medias. I'm always on Snapchat. Um, I've been very more active on Instagram than I usually have been in the past, you know, few weeks. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See you in my next video. Bye.